Welcome back. I'm RMS Plays, and we're going to be talking about Misfits vs. Kingpin. After last week, we now have two competitors in the YouTube slash influencer boxing scene, and that's Kingpin. After their eight-man and eight-woman tournament happened, the game has definitely improved, and I think it'd be a fun idea to compare the two companies. I wouldn't necessarily say this is fair to go by roster uh, because of the fact that Kingpin is so new. But, I mean, if we're going by rosters, Kingpin is very, very solid. But I don't know if they would be able to go ahead and create stars like Misfits are. Uh, I mean, guys like... I don't know, they basically made Swarms, Pineda, B-Dave, all these guys that were really nobody knew about, especially in the YouTube boxing scene. Misfits really was able to bring them up. However, Kingpin more went the route of pay big money to get the bigger name guys like, you know, Austin McBroom, Gibb, Jarvis, and King Kenny, which King Kenny overlaps as well as Zanetti overlaps with Misfits as well. But if we're going by who has the better roster, it's misfits. But quality, like overall quantity, you might be able to give to Kingpin, uh, especially with the men's bracket. Uh, and now they have like a massive star in uh, Winderson uh, Nunez. Like he's massive. But at the end of the day, Misfits also has KSI, Deji, and the guys they've created up to this point. But I mean, both are very, very solid in the roster department, in my opinion. Level of boxing is a really tricky one to judge, especially for going by the men's like division, because Misfits is very, very, uh, very varied. Uh, you have the lower level boxers, and then you will have guys who are just full on professional fighters. And Kingpin doesn't have any of that. You have guys that are definitely better than other fighters. Uh, King Kenny destroyed my mate Nate, but at the end of the day, I would say everyone is a fairly above average male influencer boxer on Kingpin. So if we're going to go by the levels with Misfits, you'll have guys like uh, Anthony Taylor and Idris Virgo. Oh, and a big heart from Idris. Oh, another one to the, sh to the body from Idris. Idris is releasing. This is becoming a lion round one. But then on the other hand, they'll put on fights like Halal Ham versus Ginty. His head movement to get in, it's just that jab is giving him some real trouble. Come on, him needs to cut off the ring. Cut off the ring. And finally, we have production. And this is the thing that just makes Misfits better than Kingpin for now is the production level. And that's just because of the fact that Misfits is produced by Dazone. And for right now, unless Kingpin managed to somehow get an insane deal with Matchroom or Showtime or uh, ESPN or something to run their events, Misfits is going to be able to have even like smaller shows like Le'Veon Bell versus JMX. And the fact that those shows can just be made and basically be watched for free with only a DAZN subscription is hard to compete with, with Kingpin. Uh, if we're going by, like, quality of, like, the events, uh, I mean, I'd say they're pretty even. I'd give an edge to to DAZN or Misfits. Just, be, I mean, it's going to happen, but I didn't really see any issues with Kingpin's uh, quality with their production. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I really enjoy both Kingpin and DAZN or DAZN's Misfits. And I hope both are really successful. I know uh, there's a little bit of beef going on, but... Yeah, I just hope both both are good, and I hope we get to see a lot more uh, shows from both companies. Anyways, still don't have an outro, so we're going to go with uh, kisses. See ya.